Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I decided to do a Saturday bonus video. I rarely do videos on Saturday. I may start doing a couple more. I'm actually pre-filming uh, on Friday and scheduling to upload on Saturday. So we'll see how this goes. I wanted to share some more Marketplace journals. Um, as you, most of you know, I've just gotten back from vacation in the past week, and so I've listed less journals, and I want to make sure everybody gets theirs shown. So these are Lori's, Lori Hampton's journals, and I'm going to start with this one. If you're interested in purchasing any of these, you can just pop right over to my, uh, my Facebook group or my Shopify a website. Thank you. <laughs> Nevermorecreations17.com, but you can find all the links in the description box below. I love the neutral fabric, kind of the stained patina, worn vintage type uh, fabric. And then there's some scrapbook paper. This one in the background, this is my Canadian wildflower script journal cards. She's added a little bird and a little flag. This is a challenge journal which means she used the Challenge Digitals Pink and Yellow Bees, Canadian Wildflowers, and Fruit Ads. Those are all in my shop. And I'm excited. Look at how pretty. Excited to take a peek at this. This is the Canadian Wildflower Script journal cards printed as a page. I love that. And it looks like she printed it on coffee dyed paper, which looks beautiful with this setup. Vellum map. Look at the vintage birds, mushrooms. I love the direction she took this because it's very vintage nature feel. And the digitals that I chose for, these are challenge three. And if you're interested, like, what are you talking about? Challenge, I don't understand, I'm new. Then I suggest you go over to my Facebook group in the announcement sections. I explain a lot. But if that still doesn't make sense, then feel free to just send me a message and I would be more than happy to talk to you and answer that. Um, but for those of you who know what I'm talking about, my digitals that I chose were very bright, lots of pinks and yellows, and this toned it way down. Sometimes it's fun to have really bright journals and sometimes it is fun to have a little bit more muted and grungy kind of vintage feel. So she's really accomplished that muted color in here. Loving it. It really doesn't even feel like a challenge journal compared to a lot of the ones that I've seen already. So to me, that's exciting how we can all come up with something different. I love the vintage pages. So pretty. Look at a little file folder right there. You can tuck in a few pieces of ephemera. I'm wondering if these are the playing cards. I've been seeing people post about playing cards at five below. So I'm wondering if I think that might be, or I could just be totally off. I'm not sure. If you're interested in some really pretty playing cards for your journals. I actually have some listed under Lindsay's supplies in my shop. I think I have, as of filming time, I think I have a butterfly one plus maybe a couple other ones still available. So there's this one. How beautiful is that? Next is this one. Look at the little old book, McGuffey's Sixth Reader. And then she's put on this little corrugated cardboard, a little like... Uh, Vintage, it was probably vintage, like junk jewelry. You can see it's missing some of the stones. Really adds to the character. And then this little doily. Look at the edgings. Really pretty little book. This is called My Little Reader, and she used My Porch Prints. I love the shop My Porch Prints. One of my favorites. There's so many beautiful shops out there, but love this shop. So if you have not checked out uh, Stephanie's designs over at My Porch Prints. I really don't think there's any way you could be disappointed. They are fantastic. And so this is, I think, one of her book kits. I don't own this kit. I do have some of her other ones, especially her fussy cut digitals. I have a few of those packs. Some wallpaper, 
this is really cute. I love, I think my favorite part is these fabric ruffles. Little quotes. It's, it's, it's very uh, bookish school themed. It could be great. I mean, we have back to school here. Um, our, our school starts next week, but some of the schools have already started and some are still starting. So this could be a wonderful uh, back to school gift, maybe for a teacher that you know loves to read. These are my library cards. These are called On My Desk Library Cards. There's Introduction to Photography, Time Management for Creative People, Taking Photos with a Film Camera. And I believe there's eight different cards in total, six different cards in total. I don't remember. I uh, made them over a year ago, but they're available in my shop if you're interested in those. What a pretty journal. Then we are not done looking at the lovelies yet. Look at this. Look at that vintage embroidered piece. There's a little, I'm not sure what that is. It's flat. It's glued on there. It's really pretty. I was going to say wax seal, but it's not quite a wax seal. There's a bird and some flowers. One signature. Let's open it up. This is called Have a Little Faith, and she's used Tsunami Rose printables. Look at this postcard that she's printed onto fabric. Ah! Assuming she printed it on there, or maybe it's a fabric postcard, I'm not sure, but it's beautiful. So this is a faith or prayer themed journal that would be absolutely perfect for sermon notes, daily devotions, maybe a gift for a pastor's wife. I made a journal for our pastor's wife once. She absolutely loved it. A lot of times they journal or need to write notes or things like that. Something like this could be so encouraging. Just a sweet little gift. It could be something wonderful to purchase and put in your gift box because you know you will be able to use it in the next year as a gift. Maybe you don't have someone immediately, but you know that maybe it's a secret sister swap at your church. Maybe it's for an aunt for her birthday. What a beautiful journal. Very sweet, Lori. All right, let's keep looking. Here's another one signature journal. It says, blessed, endowed with divine favor and protection. There's these cute little girls. There's a butterfly, a linen. This is called Blessed. Again, Tsunami Rose was her main source of printables, and it's another faith journal. So again, you could maybe purchase both of them and give them, you know, as Christmas gifts. Maybe you'd want to use them in your own devotional time. Each page has something precious on it. Look how pretty. Just precious. Bible verses. I believe the butterflies are from my porch prints since I have that same fussy cut kit. Just pretty. Lots of ephemera. Gorgeous. And I think we have two here left. It looks like maybe another faith journal. It says faith in God changes everything. You got a little blank label there on the front as well. Um, in shipping, uh, it got slightly crushed. It's no problem at all. It doesn't ruin the journal. You can actually even bend it back. This has two signatures, and it's called Faith. And she's used Tsunami Rose and My Porch Prints. We can tell, Lori, that you are a big fan of those shops. Rightfully so. Love how you've used these items. These are old tried and true shops for sure. I've just found a new shop and I'll be, I, I don't know if it's a new shop as in she's new to Etsy. I think she actually might be, but I was searching for a blue and cream colored digital kit and I found a beautiful one from, what was the name? Irresistible Printables, I think it is. Anyway, I'll have a video coming in the next week where I used those printables and some journals not sponsored or anything. I just found it and purchased it and wanted to share it with you. Sometimes I like to support a shop just like I like to be supported. It's nice to give somebody, you know, use somebody else's printables sometimes. How a beautiful journal. Love the flowers. Lots of place for you to faith journal, prayer journal in here as well. 
And then we will end this with one last journal. So here is the final journal. Love that. She could feel the fabric. Cute little rooster. I'm guessing maybe a farm theme, right? Farm Fresh. Graphics Fairy. Another great, great website. So cute. I love all the coffee dyed papers. Just beautiful. Look at the doily. Wallpaper. Little cow. So cute. I really like the space that she gives you. You have lots of room. This would be a great recipe journal. Or I like to use journals like this sometimes just a to-do list. You write appointments, to-do lists, ideas, kind of like a brain dump. So you put your, you know, Monday, whatever day, here's the things you want to get done. And then you can flip the page, brain dump everything you're thinking about. I feel like it is decorated completely. Like, yes, you could add more um, if you wanted to, but I really feel like you wouldn't have to. Like, it feels like a completed journal and that you could just go ahead, pen and paper, and you could finish it beautifully. Look at that. Cute little top-loading pocket page here. Puffed wheat, puffed right. Uh, you can still hear my boys in the background. I promise you they are going back to school this month. <laughs> It's next, late next week, so how pretty. All right, so I believe that is six journals, six journals today that have been added to the marketplace. I hope you enjoyed this bonus video. If you did, if you'll take a second to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, if you have not, I'd appreciate it. I hope you'll have a wonderful day.